hi everybody welcome to my channel today what I'm gonna do is this is a video for the art joy of sharing group um, the 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 what they're working on this month is to do spring cleaning well I've completely rearranged my studio and you know I want to do a video on that but today I also want to do a video on this is my mark making tools it's a big drawer um, I used to have two of these and I've slimmed it down to this one but what I really want to do is I want to make a page it's kind of like a reference page to see which what mark each tool makes and then that way I can go back onto it and I can go back into it I'm sorry and look at it and see you know oh I want to make this mark on here so what I'm going to do I was just thinking about it. I wanted to do it in this journal but once I finish this that's going to be put up so let me grab some other paper that I can do it on and I will be back with you in a minute all right so I found um, some paper these are actually the same type of paper this is from the uh, Dilutions large journal um, I absolutely love this paper it's so sturdy and it pretty much takes anything I throw at it um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little booklet out of this I gotta clean tops up and stuff but for right now let's start with a blank one um, we are gonna go ahead and use this paper and I think this is gonna be really excruciating for you guys to sit here and you know have me do each one but I'm just gonna do a couple let's start out with our circles um, and then I want to see um, you know do I need all these circles so I'm gonna clean this out as I go I mean like these two are basically the same size this one's heavier um, We'll have to look at that. We'll see the width of them between this one and this one. I might have to keep them both. But while I do this, let me do a couple of them. I'm using black. Uh, let me just get it laid out a little bit so I can put my thing in it. Uh, the black I'm using is this A2 um, Mars Black Opaque. I have no idea where I got this. It's by Chrome Australia. I know I picked it up somewhere because I have a black, a white, and a Payne's gray. But I'm not, I don't, I can't remember where I got it. Alright, so let's see what this does. So we're going to start with this one. Okay, that one gives me my two circles. I need to find a pan because I'm going to have to wash a lot of these afterward. Okay, this one gives me a circle, which I expected. Okay, I'm going to put this one here. Now I want to see on this because it's got a flat, kind of flattish top here. I'm going to see what this will do. And it gives me a flat top with a little bit of a circle. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through, now I have three of these. Do I need three of these? Probably not because if I want to print three of either one of these circles, I'll just do it with the same one. So I really don't need those two. These two I want to look at. So this one is that. And this one is that. You know what? I am going to have to keep both of them because this one gives a lighter line. This one gives a, a bolder line. So I will be keeping both of those. So this is what I plan on doing. Um, this one, I don't know what that's in there for. This one is an old wine for a weed eater. Weed eater? No, this is something else. I have another one in here that's from a weed eater, but let's see what it does. So I'm going to do it on this side. Look at that. Now this side, I'm going to see what it does. Got a couple little bumps there, so I don't know if it'll do much of anything. Yeah. So that side I won't be using at all, but this side is a perfect little wheel. So we're going to keep that one. All right, so this is what I'm going to do with a lot of these. I am going to fast forward it uh, quite a bit because you guys, it's agonizing to sit here and do this, as well as having you watch it, me do this. So that's it. Let's go. Let's watch. See what I've got. Thank you. 
making marks with my mark making tools um, just a couple things this is the one that I told you came off a weed eater that uh, spool which was really cool that was the big um, pink circle with the little dots around the outside these are actually I think they're for cutting clay but I use them as mark makers these stars I don't know who makes them or where they come from I picked them up at some thrift shop years and years ago 
but they're really cool to have. Let's see what else we have here. Um, these marks are all made with flip flops. Uh, check out your dollar stores, and if you see you know a really cool design, just bring it home, cut it apart, and there you go. You've got a lot of different textures, not that one, of uh, flip flops. A um, couple more stars. This is from an inhaler. Um, I actually have asthma, but I have one of my old inhalers, and this is where it comes out. This is the top of that, and then this is the cover that goes over top of the whole thing. So that's kind of cool. Um, these are little bitty stamps I picked up. I can't tell you where or when. They're little foam stamps years and years ago. This one here, um, this, all these are silicone hot pads. So if you go in your kitchen aisle and you see, you know, the silicone pads that you can either put your pans on or you can use them to take stuff out of the oven. Well, that's what these are. I always go and look and see if I can find a different pattern. So far, I've only found these five patterns. I would love to find more, maybe six, I think. Um, I'd love to find more, but at this point, I don't have any. This was just a piece of rubber that I found. I think it might have been a silicone mat. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and then this was that drain for the sink. What I had to do on that is there was a piece holding it up and you saw me get my scissors, I had to cut out that piece. And then when I laid that down, if I would just left it, it would have given me one ring. But I went into the centers because it goes down and that will give you all those different dots. This one, these are all this kind of um, stamps. But I don't use them as stamps, I use them as mark making basically. Um, I don't use them for like in a main piece of a project. It might be, um, I might use these on a jelly plate at times, but mostly these stick in my mark making tools. Um, that's just where I prefer to have them. So that's where they are. And this one's feathers, this one's owls, this one's got a really cool design. This one is just kind of leaves that come up through. I didn't feel like redoing it. So yeah, there are all of my mark making tools at this point um oh i forgot to tell you where's that other one did i put it on another page hang on i'm missing one there it is on the other side i'm sorry um these here i wanted to show you this what goes in here honey a socket wrench holder yep it's a socket wrench holder that big long plastic thing i had with the holes and my husband came in one day and he's like, hey, he goes, can you use this? I'm like, oh yeah. And it's really cool. It makes really cool marks on the jelly plate. Um, again, these are all just some stamps that I have in there. Um, this is that one line. I think it used to be used for addresses, um, that stamp. You know, just stamps. These are ones that I've made, things like that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you get out your mark making tools and you know get yourself a little you probably could do it neater than i did which is fine i'm not worried about it um it just gives you an idea of what kind of mark making tools you have in the drawer and i'm sure as i add more i'll add more to this book once i put it together but here they are all right so i did my spring cleaning i did get a <laughs> i got rid of a few not a whole lot but you know what it's okay here that is. This is another piece of that. It's got the one triangle on it. I think that's also a silicone. Um, and same here. This is a silicone one. But other than that, you know, I did get rid of a bunch of um, duplicates of all these round things. I don't know what these came off, but it must have been something I used quite a bit of. Because there was three of them, plus I have the five that are um, circled together, and then just the one empty. So, yeah. So this is what I got rid of. Not much, but, you know, every little bit helps. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.